What is up guys, this is the Gothic Kitten. Last time we were kind of figuring out what to do and we couldn't really get it figured out. So what we're gonna do today is this guy, hack on. I don't know if this is gonna work out, but we're gonna try. Uh, said something about bandit raids. So, hack on the weapons dealer was robbed by bandits outside the city. Pablo, the city guardsman, was involved in fruitless search for the bandits. Now, we've been told like also that. by... Akil? I, I think that was his name. Akil, the... Uh, down, farmer? Said that there was a cave with bandits apparently behind his farm. But that they didn't bug him, so that he was fine with it. As long as they did not come to him. So we're just gonna venture out of town just for a little bit. Although, I don't know if it's a good idea, because I, I still haven't gotten the money to get the Master Sword. We should make work with that. We can go down here, we could also do that. No, no. Can't be doing that. Can't be saying we're gonna do one thing and then go do the other. Unless, you know, there's a very strong indication that's what we should do. And eventually that will be the case. When we need skill points. So it might be that we go here all for north, but then at least we know where they are. Kiss. In the past few episodes, whenever we got into contact with bandits, that didn't really fare well. So I think... Considering the farm is over there. I was just gonna follow this path right here. We know we can kind of take these guys on. Oh, but they come together. Why do they always come together? I feel like if we could take on the bandits one by one, then we're good. Maybe I should invest in a better bow. That might actually be a good option. But that also requires money. It's a full-blown field raider. Do we have a lot of... We have three arrows. Yeah, that's not gonna fly. Can we pull him? Can we take him? Because we need a bunch of skill points. Nothing there. I'm convinced we can take a lot of things. The question is just if they hit us, how bad is it gonna be? Can I have one of you? I'm gonna pull that second one by fighting this one. Ah, oh. maybe we should leave these for what they are. They're good XP and we can take them, but... Ooh, healing herb. I know we weren't full health when we took them on, but I mean... I don't think that is going to make the difference. Scavenger? Oh nice, that's our first scavenger of the game. We don't know. Oh, there's gonna be that. Scavengers are lethal here. Oh my god. We need, we need, we made a horrible, we were not prepared for the outside world. Okay, let's see. There's another scavenger right there. I should have roasted my meat before we went out. Stew. Oh, that's not bad. Some sausage. Gonna be so much saving because I don't like to redo things. Are you alone? I just need to get some crates. There we go. Give me the thicker meat right now. 
This forest gets darker and darker. I'm not sure if we should do this. Oh, this is gonna end bad. This is gonna end so bad. That was not that was not horrible. Because in my brain for any of you who played Gothic 3 already, I have played the begin part. So no spoils intended, but I got to like I guess they call it a harbor city. I got to that one and then maybe to one of the bigger cities and that's it. The snow or the desert, no clue. But one thing that I have learned already is that wolves travel in pack. <laughs> so if you take on a wolf, you're gonna have like six wolves on you and that's bad. Okay, this is a cave. We're gonna assume this is where the bandits are. You're in for it now. Is he gonna come alone? Is there gonna be multiple? Are they gonna be deadly? Oh, don't do that. I don't have bow and arrow to shoot back. Now the perk of bandits is we can easily block them. As I say that, I don't block anything. Okay, there we go. So that's one, but one of them is sporting a bow and arrow, so we have to make sure we stay out of their way. It would be great if this will work. That's gonna get our reputation up in the city. You know, I would have thought if they can't reach me with bow and arrow, why don't they- Oh, he looks stronger though. Why don't they just come over here and... Just, just fight me. Even though I think if this one fights me, we're still goners, but... Don't hit me. Okay, don't hit me. Ay, 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 that's bad. Not miss a single block. I do want your bow, sir. I really want your bow. And your arrows. Thank you. I cannot believe that worked. Okay, first of all, let's heal. This is worth a healing potion. That one arrow just pierced me right through the chest, I'm sure. Can I not pick up your sword? That's a pity. Anyway, wine. Sheepskin. Do we need to go tell Akel about this? Do we need to be like, yo, Akel, we took care of it. It's fine. What was up with that fish? Also, not to mention, I knew a lot about this game coming in, basically at the point of me leaving the city of Corinus, it's going to be way worse. For you who follow my channel, I've explained this before, I like start the game and then I start another game and another game and another game. As a consequence, I only played beginnings of games. So this is a great way for me to actually finish games. But only if it interests you guys. Let's see. We found this weird fish. Where's the weird fish? A weird looking fish. There's something wrong with this fish. Looks like it's been sewn up. Okay, in that case. There is a note hidden. Which note? Stinking note. Okay, fair enough. Keep your head low, guys. The militia is getting suspicious. Don't do anything until you hear from me again. Halvor. Halvor. I'm going to assume that's someone in the city.
If I'm not mistaken, it's the husband of the lady who was like near the money lender. He also sold fish, so that would make sense. Now let's see if we can go tell him about our huge endeavors and maybe talk to some people because we didn't actually interact with the people over here. Maybe we should take up alchemy. Go talk to you guys. Hey! Yes. What's up? It's been a long time since we've seen a stranger on our land who didn't want to skin us. I hope I'm not wrong about you. I'm Agil, and the strange bird over there is my brother, Anim. How's the field work going? Great! If those miserable field raiders weren't constantly destroying our harvest. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? You're joking. Since I've been on this farm, I've killed so many of the beasts that I've lost count. But alas, new ones keep coming. Okay, so he didn't have a lot to say. Oh, look, sheep. Hey, you. Who are you? My name is Anim. I'm one of the field hands. And the half pot over there is my brother, Egil. We've been working here on the farm for Akil for several years. How's the field work going? Do you want to help? There's another hole back there. Grab it and then head for the field. You just have to make sure that the field raiders don't surprise you. They'll tear your arm right off with one bite. And I will kill each and every one of them at some point. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? I've killed more of them than I can count. The only problem is they keep coming back. Your brother told me the same. What? That loafer? He always disappears <laughs> just as soon as the beasts come onto our land. He shouldn't be talking such nonsense. Dude, your brother is talking smack about you. You know what? No. First talk to everyone before we start doing god knows what. Yo, lady, you stole all my loot from the guys that I made sure are not here anymore. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Why don't you defend yourself against Onar's tyranny? For us farmers near the city, it makes more sense to stay on the good side of the city militia than to rely on Onar's mercenaries. On the other hand, there's Bengar and Sekub who would rather give up their farms than work for the king. Where do I find the farms of Bengar and Sekub? They're not far from the farm where the landowner lives. Go east from here and you'll find them. Haven't you ever considered moving away from here? It's not easy to get away from this part of the country. All the land is walled in by a high, insurmountable chain of mountains. The only two ways out of here are the pass to the Valley of Mines and the harbor. Since we cannot afford passage on a ship, and the Valley of Mines is a place of no return, we're going to have to stay here. What do you know about the pass? I've never been there myself, but it must be somewhere near Bangar's farm on the high pastures. She gave us a lot of information. Look out for your husband. I shall do my best. Oh, bye. I've got to go. So long. I really wish I could have done more for you. He does not care. The bandits didn't bother him, so he does not care. Farmer, so you're probably not going to have anything like particular to say. Hang hey. Everything all right? Yes, I'm fine. That Alvarez has become bolder and bolder lately. Good thing that's over now. What I could use now is a good drop in the tavern. You're not from around here, right? I come from the Southern Isles. At some point they said they needed people in Corinnus because of that magic ore. But when I got there, they had this huge barrier in place, and I didn't want to go in there, so I started working in the harbor. Well, the ship stopped coming in, and so I went to work for Akil. I've had worse jobs, actually. You hang out in the tavern? That's right, but not recently. I cannot afford going there anymore. 
What exactly is going on there in the tavern? There's gambling there. Two fellows compete against each other. Whoever can hold the most beer wins. In the end, I did nothing but lose, and now I need to make some more money first. So you haven't learned your lesson. Who did you go up against? Against Rukar, that old good-for-nothing. So far, he's beaten me every time. But somehow, I have the creeping suspicion that the filthy swine has laced my beer with gin every time. I suspect he keeps the gin hidden in that damn chest of his, that lousy scumbag. Somebody ought to sneak some plain water into his chest. Then he can lace my beer all he wants. If I only had enough money to compete against him one more time. I have an important question. Does this make us money? Because if it does, I'm willing to invest in you. To the tavern, to Corinus. Do we have water? What does water... Yes, we do have water. But I'm gonna assume it will have to be a certain time of day to get the water in there. We're gonna have to do some night missions, but I try to avoid them, maybe bundle them. Because if I bundle them, it's gonna be easier. Because as some of you might have seen in the editing from the previous videos, we, uh, we turn up the brightness more during the night to make sure that, you know, something was visible. For me, it's like still slightly visible, but I've noticed in the recordings that it's not, so. There's this cave on the right here, and in a way I'm willing to explore it, but in a way I really am not. Because I've not found anything good so far in caves. Although, here's the point. We did this now. We cleared the cave of the bandits, and I'm super excited about that part. However, the last bandit was something, so That's I don't think we should do it just yet. I took care of the bandits. Really? Anyone could say that. Do you have proof? <sighs> should I go back and cut off their heads? No, I don't think that will be necessary. I believe you. You have done the merchants and the city a great service. Here is the money you have promised. Thank you. Can't keep anything to himself. Now let's look at that bow that we acquired. 30, 15. So that's a lot. That's like double. And it looks so nice. Yeah, I'm happy. We also have some skins from uh, for Bosper. But we're gonna try those like at the very last minute. Now let's see if we can find Halver. If you tell Pablo, do we also get credit? That would be cool. But I doubt it. And the next time we pass, we have to talk to those brothers, I guess they are. Again. He doesn't see that. I can't help him. I'd have gone about it differently. So I think this lady, Fenya, told us about her husband, and I think his name was Halvor, who has a fishing stall That's not what over I here. Heard. I'd have done it differently. He simply talks too much. The things I could tell you. I think this piece of paper belongs to you. I never what? Knew Let me see. That's an open secret. Tell me that isn't true. Uh, oh, like okay. That. Let's stay There's calm about that. this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? The things I could tell you. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. Make me an offer then. All right, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than just fish. If you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. I'd have done it differently. Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? 
used to say that myself. Well, I can offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, yes. not just plain ones for eating. You mean like the one that contained your hidden message? You've got it. I have several of those fish. I'm staying out. If I hand you into the militia, I get a hundred gold. I would have rather had just money to weigh my options. Nobody wants to know. All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. And he works all day too. Only in us decides what's right or wrong. Show me your fish. And tell me how expensive your fish is. That's not what my husband thinks. Are they free? Can I just take them? That's not what I heard. That would be great. I agree with you completely. And it's going to get Okay. Worse. Might have been worth it. We'll have to see. He simply talks too much. Will it ever change? Let's see what's in his fish. That's not what my husband thinks. It sounds so weird. And it's gonna get even worse. The facts are facts. Okay. Light fish. Now that's three lockpicks. How much are lockpicks worth? If I buy them. Go away. Don't tell me that. Where are my lockpicks even? Okay, there they are. Ten, so that's thirty gold. That's what I've always said. A ring. That's not what I heard. Really? How interesting. Yeah, that was probably worth it. Even if we don't use it per se. We should equip our rings. Nice. How interesting. Lump of ore. I'm gonna assume it's already been worth it. Listen to the wrong Fire people. protection magic. Someone's gotta do the work. Mm. I'm staying out of it. Can we do oh we can do both perfect. Really oh what have I done? Why am I walking slow? He can't keep anything to himself. Okay. I was like, um I don't believe that. Now I'm curious if the bar person still has something to say. Nobody will learn anything from me. Hello? Hey you, come over here. I've got something for you. There's a fellow here who insisted on talking to you. Okay. Since you weren't here, he told me to give you a message. He wants to meet you behind Halver's fish shop. This piece of information is free, but that's an exception, kid. Anything beyond that will cost you. I what did the guy look just like? There. I could tell you that. But you need to pay for it, my friend. Can I actually ask that? I need information. I never knew that. Oh my god. I'm not gonna pay six gold. That's nothing new. I'm gonna pay six gold. What did the guy look like? Well, rather tall, dark skinned and strong, but no uniform. Somehow menacing. And his face? His face? When he looked at me, I was glad that it wasn't me he had come for. There was something scary in his eyes. Anyway, I think you should go see him. This is bound to be interesting. Yeah, the question is, for whom? Okay. How much gold? 1400. We're getting there, people. We are gonna get our master sword before we convincingly leave this. I don't know if we can wield it yet. We probably cannot, but the second that we can, I wanna have it. So, beyond your shop. So, we're at ice? Yeah, safe. Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you, stranger. Who are you? And what do you want from me? That isn't important. What is important is what you've done. You have remained loyal even if you weren't aware of it. Some benefactors have become aware of your loyalty, and they are offering you a chance, so use it. Hey, just tell me why you're here. I have a gift for you. Everything else is up to you, stranger. <laughs> what, what? 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 Hey. What does that even mean? This key has been damaged by salty seawater. Now we've seen a door in the seawater before. I'm gonna go look at my sword one more time. <laughs> I really want it. But we've seen a door, it was like when you're on the way to the pirate skip. So we're gonna have to try that key out over there. 
I'm trying to remember. He was over here somewhere, right? I'm actually not sure. Am I supposed to be here? Are the paladins going to be angry with me? Hey! What do you have to offer? Then pay attention. Wait a second. I thought it was him. I thought he had it. Am I wrong? Oh no, I thought he had the master sword. If he didn't, then who had? If they change this inventory already, I'm gonna be so sad. Then we've been working this hard for nothing. The things I could tell you. I'm gonna have to rewatch it, see who it whose inventory it was in. I don't believe that. No idea. You tell me. I don't believe that. I don't know how many other people actually sell stuff. He never would have thought of that himself. Obviously the weapon people in the marketplace, but I was convinced it was Martin. Mind you, we do okay damage with our sword right now, but there's not that many dexterity based swords in this game. Okay. It is ominous, but we got the key, so that means that it's all good, right? However, this will be for the next episode. So next episode, we're going to go into this dark door of evil and find out who his benefactors are. And hopefully by that time, I figured out why Martin did not have the Master Sword. Because it was probably someone else selling it. I hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you next time on The Scratching Post.